Hello guys, if you're new to this channel then welcome. We are Vicky and Louis. We are travelling around Europe for three months in our self-build camper van. If you're not already, please subscribe to our channel. It helps us to create more content like this and share our experiences. It's super easy, just click subscribe, press the notification button and you'll be notified every time we make a new video. Thank you guys, enjoy the video. Good morning guys, well it's now the afternoon, um, we got to Slovenia uh, yesterday afternoon and we are currently parked at a really lovely spot near the thermal pools and there's a big hotel built on the thermal pools literally just over the road and they own this like camping car park um, so let's show you a little bit. So there's quite a few plots and um, pretty much all of them have, well most of them have electricity and see there's a barrier there, you have to check in at the hotel and you've got a nice little undercover bit there, we've got lights and I believe it's 11 euros a night. This is the view. Lovely, gorgeous house up there, and then just trees and it's lovely. And they also have when you come, you can smell the grapes. And I was like, where's that smell coming from? And it's this. It's the really, really sweet grapes. I've had them before in Italy, but I don't know how do you buy them in a supermarket. I've never found them in a supermarket. But what I usually do is I like put them in my mouth and then like you can take the skin off the actual grape in your mouth because the skin's quite tough. So there's your skin. They are the sweetest, most flavoursome grapes I've ever eaten in my life. Been in Hungary the past week at um Louis's brother's wedding and that was absolutely amazing and we stayed at a farm um, for Bella, my sister-in-law, um, her family farm, absolutely gorgeous, we stayed there for a week, we've got lots of footage um, coming up so we'll probably have to break that into two or three episodes, there's quite a lot, um, so that's where we've been and that's why we thought we'd pop into Slovenia because we've heard, <coughs> excuse me, we've heard how gorgeous it is in Slovenia and uh, it's not disappointing so far. Hey guys, so we are just um, on our way out of Slovenia. So we stayed at a lovely place near a thermal spa um, and we are about to cross over into Croatia, but we're just gonna go to the supermarket first. And um, we're also filling up with, oh, there's a wasp in it. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't move. Ooh. Ah! I'm gonna have to get out. Our uh, van takes ad blue because it's um, diesel. I think certain diesel engines you have to add ad blue. Um, and so we've just got a notification on the van to say we, you're going to run out in 900 miles. And wow, I had a few notifications and I chose to ignore it. It was like ad blue low. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then about a thousand miles later, it was like, ad blue, really low. And I was like, oh, all right then. And then a second ago, it was like, ad blue is gone. It will not restart in 900 miles. The engine won't restart until you fill it up again. So, um, but we haven't, we've been looking for it. We can't find it in any of the petrol stations in a bottle like you can in the UK, but they have these big filling up stations. So 
luckily we literally have just come across it as the lights come up so we're full up with our blue okay so we are officially in croatia um so let me just uh, talk through a little bit about the border crossing because croatia is not in the schengen so they have their own 90 day rule which is why we've come in here for two weeks so when you do the border crossing there is two stages to it so the first well we're on one of the major border crossings on the toll road and our border crossing is called I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I, I wouldn't know how it's M-A-C-E-L-J um, and we are on the E59 uh, toll road going towards Zagreb so you go through um, like you can't really call it much it's kind of like a passport control but they don't check your passport i think it's just a filter the traffic and then about two minutes down the road there's another passport check where you hand over your passport and like at the airport they scan the picture make sure that it's a proper passport and then it's your passport one thing to watch out for is if you are not in the eu like the united kingdom now is unfortunately um you have to get your passport stamped otherwise the, when you go back home and try and exit the EU they will think that you've spent the time in Croatia in the EU if that makes sense so when you enter any country that's not part of the Schengen which is not part of the 90 day rule as a collective you have to have your passport stamped to prove that you have exited the Schengen so that your time stops in the Schengen and when you come out have it stamped that you have left Croatia and have e entered the Schengen again. So she scanned our passports and she didn't stamp them. Luckily we double checked before we drove off and we, I handed her the passports back and said, you know, stamp. And then she stamped them reluctantly. <laughs> and then when we exit in two weeks time, we should get another stamp to say that we have exited Croatia. So it's important, I don't know why she didn't stamp it, because Croatia has its own 90 day rule. So yeah, when we exit, we'll make sure we have another stamp and that will probably be a stamp entering the, the Schengen again. So make sure you get passport stamped if you are not part of the European Union. Okay. Mm -hmm. deal well in the heat get really grumpy and living in a van with someone is really hard <laughs> when it's hot when it's cool it's like I'm a different person but when it's hot and you're so close together and you're trying to keep the van tidy to keep it cool and all this it's just a lot so um, yeah it's been nice having a pool here so we're actually only staying campsites in Croatia because when I looked at the park for night app there wasn't a lot of choice on like free camping it's been good because it's still so hot here um, that we're by a pool so but the bad thing is um, the mosquitoes are disgusting here there's literally like, like swarms of them above your head like just look at my feet, right? Hang on. Yeah, that's picking it up. Two days. Four feet. And I've got just as many on my like the back of my arms, my bingo wings, and um my back. Like it's horrible. So but it's just unavoidable. But anyway, Bing. and now we're having um dinner. You got any onions? Yeah, the onions are under the sink, oh. right at the back in the compost bin. I haven't used it for compost. Changes everything. Haven't used it. For... Actually, um, Louis, if you want to get out um, two and leave one in the cupboard because they're quite hard to get there. You're telling me. And we're making our way down to the waterfalls that are on the coast. That's basically it.
Louie, hurry up! Omnia oven. The Omnia oven. We have not used it ever. But today, we only have pasta. So we're gonna do a pasta bake. We're gonna try it out. So I'm just gonna cook the pasta as usual, I think, on the hob. Do the sauce, mm -hmm. mix it together, put it in there, sprinkle some cheese. cheese and potentially some bread. Oh yeah, breadcrumbs. Ooh, crumbs. good idea be. I'm hope I'm guessing it will just like harden in the oven, but You want me to break up some bread while you do your thing? No. No. Probably have one. Well, mm. are you making a fish? Wow, you are making a tuna. Pasta bake. Oh, yeah, where's the tuna? Tuna. Oh, we have olives. Mm. Two. Should we put both of them in? Yes. Week one? Yes. And then, do you want chickpeas in it? No, I do not. Yeah. We're literally using up the drags. Drags. Huh? When are we ever going to have peas? Oh, I've got to fry. See my double chin like this? No. See? Goes like this. Yeah. That was hot. Yeah. So this bit goes on like this, because if it was like this, it wouldn't make a sense. Okay. Like this? Yes. You he gotta heat it up. Yes. Wow, just be uh... No more touching yeah. that. <laughs> oh. You might have to rotate it. Oh, sugar. Rotate. Just very nervous. Sprinkle some breadcrumbs. These will either go, either go crispy or we're gonna have some weird dog things. Okay. This no, isn't beans. No beans were hurt in the making of this video. So apparently you just do this for the same amount of time you would in your oven. So I don't know, like we'll check it after 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. We'll turn it down to like a, I mean, it's already down to like a simmer. It's been preheated, so. <laughs> Mountain cheese. And now it's a party. So it's now Friday and we've just checked out of the place that we were in before, the thermal spa thing. Um, and we're just going to head to Lidl and get a few bits and then we're going to drive to our next park up which is about 
two hours away, maybe an hour and a half, can't remember. Um, but it's more towards the coast, so and we're going to stay there for another four days. And I think it's next to a big lake, um, so you should be able to do some nice walks and take you along with that. But at the minute, it's absolutely tipping it down. It thunderstormed really bad last night, um, and it's just like the UK; it's just drizzly and overcast today. So today is just you know driving and a shopping day, so it's fine. I'm actually, it's Friday. So we've just arrived at our next campsite and uh, it's so nice, the, the, the man um, at the reception was so friendly and uh, anyway so I did all the things and uh, he was like um, wait here uh, I've got something for you and uh, he comes out with this bottle and he was like my father he, he's made this um, basically if you know Palinka in Hungary it's like a, like a home brewed spirit and here it's called something else but it's basically Palinka. So he was like, there you go. <laughs> so he's given us two shots of Palinka. Just when we thought we'd escaped Palinka land. <laughs> when I think I'm out, she pulls me back in. So, I mean, it's really cold. Palinka. So, um, Ege Shegeje. Oh, well, that's Hungarian, isn't it? I don't know what it is in. Ege Shegeje. Ege Shegeje. Ege Shegeje. Are you going to make the icon? Ege Shegeje. Ege Shegeje. Oh, fuck. Ege Shegeje. <laughs> Oh my god, no! No! <laughs> yep, that's Palinka. No! <laughs> I literally just, it just touched my lips. <laughs> Although that, that one's kind of like Nicer. tangy, like Do citrusy. Little, little he was like, oh, something. I've got something for you, but like he said something, but I didn't, didn't quite grasp what you said. And I was like, okay, I'll just wait. I don't know if. I was like, oh, he's going to give me. Show me where the dryer is or something stupid like that. And he was like, <laughs> bottle of two shot glasses, like, okay. <laughs> This is what we're doing now. This is working quite well. Oh yeah, but I think we left a, the door open. Well, I left the door open a little bit on the back yeah. last night, and it's there. You can say we. We're married. I take, I we. take some of the responsibility. Here. Get my biscuits. Who remembers these in in like Aldi when you were a kid, like the sam the sandwich biscuits? They had them in uh, in Croatia, in Lidl. Yeah, in hmm? Yeah, who remembers sandwich biscuits? It's like all the things that I remember when you were little. They still have it here. Okay, so we're gonna make some lunch and it has stopped raining a little bit. It is very beautiful where we are. Um, and yeah, the receptionist was super friendly. Mm -hmm. 